All right, guys, we just got some great news regarding individuals that had not received that extra $500 when it came to getting your first stimulus. Remember that first $1,200 stimulus payment that we got during the CARES Act? And many of you should have gotten an extra $500 for your dependents and you didn't. Well, we're gonna talk about how you can get that money during the month of July. Also, many of you are still asking the question in regards to the SBA $1,000 grant that's available for you through the EIDL program. Is it still available or did they shut it down? We're gonna talk about that today as possible regarding the stimulus, regarding state side, citywide benefits that are available to you, as well as how you can make remote controlled money, meaning passive income, money that you can make even while you're sleeping. Well, the first thing you wanna do when you come to this channel, you wanna subscribe. Then click that notification bell so you get the latest and greatest information. As you well know, let me do all the work while you guys make sure you take care of you and your loved ones. So let's get started. During the CARES Act, for most of us, individuals receive their $1,200 first round of stimulus payment. Many apply for the dependents, especially grandparents that were taking care of their grandchildren had filed for dependents as well. But here's where the complication came in. First of all, if you're under SSI, SSDI, or retired railroad or representative payee, you don't file taxes. So how would they know that you had dependents that you were taking care of? Well, they were having individuals go to the non-filers tool to apply, but they only gave them a short window in order to do that. The information got out either too late to individuals such as yourselves or not at all. So the IRS said, okay, here's what we're gonna do. First, they stated that they'll take your dependents or the monies that you didn't receive and put that on your 2020, 2021 taxes as a tax credit and you receive the money then. But they hadn't taken into account that you need that money right now, not next year. So here's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna watch a video, quick video of Senator Hashens as she asked the commissioner of the IRS what happened to you guys extra $500? How and when will you guys be receiving your extra $500? Because that extra $500 for some people is actually $1,500 because you have up to three dependents that you can claim in regards to the CARES Act and the stimulus package. So let's take a look at that video right now. Commissioner, for being here um, and for all of the work that you and your uh, staff are doing um, on recovery efforts uh, underway at the IRS. I want to start first by just thanking you for heeding the calls of my committee colleagues and myself to deliver stimulus payments automatically to the millions of Social Security and VA beneficiaries who do not file tax returns. And towards that end, I want to follow up on something that Chairman Grassley asked you about. Unfortunately, many of these beneficiaries missed out on $500 payments for their children because of short deadlines to provide the IRS with dependent information. And the IRS has said that these families will need to wait until 2021 to get their payments. Along with colleagues on this committee, I sent you a letter in April urging you to provide these payments as quickly as possible before 2021. Uh, you just referenced in your answer to the chairman uh, that there were you were considering doing that, but there were some limitations. So could you tell us, please, what specifically you are considering and what specific limitations uh, the IRS is facing with regard to getting these payments to people before 2021? We have, we have a pool of individuals who used our non-filers portal that um, should have actually received that additional $500 payment. We had that information. It just, it, for a limited period, of, remember that portal was, you know, I'm, I'm very proud of the effort of our employees, but we built several airplanes while we were flying I understand two that. other airplanes. And then we had to adjust those as we were monitoring. Right. And one of the things we found was we had a, a gap where it was not picking up those 500 dollar payments right. we had that information so we are going to be um, issuing those payments to that pool and I believe the number is 365,000 um, um, individuals and I believe it's substantially SSA and RRA uh, recipients um, so that I believe is going to happen sometime around July by the end of July that's my understanding and if that date changes we'll get back uh, similarly um, 
the uh, folk, individuals who filed injured spouse claims. Um, there was a difficulty connecting that, you know, get the payments out as rapidly as possible, find information that might not be front and center, you know, so we, we, we did our best and I'm very proud of how we did. Uh, lessons learned going forward. We, we know certain areas to, to look into. And the limitations are we're actually also in the middle of programming now or starting to program now. Um, 2021 filing season, we, have, we constantly have two filing seasons that our IT departments right. are but, working on. Okay, so we're sympathetic with these issues, trying to figure out a way to get the money as quickly as possible. And, and when can you get us information then to this committee about what that timeline looks like? I mean, we have we have constituents who need these dollars. They're entitled to them. They're trying to get them. Uh, they've, they've been trying to do their best. So when can you give us a timeline of what the windows look like for them and how they might we get those $500. We will not be able to payments. issue what I might now refer to as secondary payments for everyone who might have a change in circumstances. Remember, some people were married, some got divorced. I, I'm not and, talking and about that. I'm talking those about, pools. Commissioner, hold on. I'm talking about the people. You put up a very short window for people who were non-filers to put in information so that they could get those $500 payments. You now are saying that for the people you missed who did um, submit information in those 48 hours, you're going to be able to get them out. So now what I'm asking is the people who weren't able to get into that 48 hour window, if they give it to you now, how could they get it before 2021? What's the plan and how, when will you share the plan with us? Let me get back to you. It's, a, it's, it's not an easy thing for us to accomplish. And can I address the 48 hour window? Yeah, I, I, I understand that it exists, and I have another question, so why don't we okay, take fine. that offline? All right, guys, as you got a chance to see, Senator Hashins asked some really in-depth questions, and we got some really good answers regarding what's going on and what'll take place. So the first thing that we know, we got some good news, and we got some bad news. I didn't see any bad news. Well, let's talk about it. First things first, you will be receiving during the month of July, those stimulus payments will start going out. Remember, these are first round stimulus payments. We're not talking about the new bill that we're waiting on. These are first round stimulus payments that individuals had already applied for. They don't have to do the non-filers tool. They don't have to uh, hope that the IRS has the information. These individuals were already waiting for dependent funds anyway. So that's great news. But what's the bad news? That the IRS, he's already mentioned that they've lost some files. They don't know where certain files were, where certain information went to. So some of you that have that are supposed to be receiving, there's over, like he said, there's over 350,000 individuals are supposed to be receiving that stimulus dependent payment. You may or you may not get it. Is it a, is it a 70, 80 chance? So we're going to keep you guys updated on that. So make sure you subscribe to the channel because we're going to stay on top of this as a particular topic that's very important. So remember, those checks that are available for you individuals that were expecting dependent funds, you don't have to wait till next year during tax season to receive it. They're going to start sending those checks out to you starting this month. Make sure in the comments section, you guys let us know regarding the check as soon as you receive it. You don't have to tell us the amount that you got. Just let us know we received our payment. Speaking of payments, thank you guys for letting us know how many of you have been receiving your confirmation number, your payments regarding the SBA grant that you don't have to pay back. It's tax free and it's a thousand dollars that's available to you individuals out there that have either a side hustle, that either are beauticians or barbers, you have a small business, an independent business, or you're just a person that worked for a temporary agency. A lot of us worked for temporary agencies at one point in time last year, many of you did. So you can file for that SBA. Yes, it is still available. We will have the link in the description. We did a video a couple weeks ago on it. We're gonna have the link 
link for that in the description as well. So, and I'm gonna have that link in the comments section as the first comments also. So I'm gonna have the link to that video as well as the link to apply. That video literally walks you through the application process so you don't have to feel like you're filling it out by yourself. You still can apply. So go ahead, do that. Many individuals have already received their thousand dollars. They're already dancing in the street doing a stimulus dance already. So go ahead, take advantage of that. Starting tomorrow, I said I'm gonna do it today, but I decided to wait till tomorrow. We have all the information. We are going to start to do with stateside, citywide programs. The first thing you're gonna receive is the actual program that you can apply to. Second thing you're gonna receive is phone numbers in the description for each state. And the third thing you're gonna receive is the name of your senators. Each state has two. You're gonna receive the names and the links for the senators will be in each state. We're gonna be doing these in alphabetical order. Now, we're not alleviating or erasing all the information and programs that are already in the descriptions in the states. No, we're gonna be doing that per state. So the first states that we're gonna hit are all the A's, the Arkansas's to Alaska's to Arizona's to Alabama's. We're gonna be hitting you guys tomorrow. We want you to email your senators. Some of you may not be comfortable with calling the White House. Well, at least click on your senator's website it automatically opens up and it gives you a way to put in your information and just leave them a nice little email about getting the second round of stimulus and why it's important to you and your loved one. Information, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell to get the latest and greatest information and we will be speaking to you again mañana.